Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you are here. If you're not new, welcome on back. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video, okay? All right, y'all. First things first, in today's video, we're going to get into it. Doja Cat's latest hit, Agora Hills, is going crazy on Spotify. It has just reached 100 million streams, all right? And um, this song has been taking social media by storm. It just has been going crazy on social media. Um, it is the fourth fastest female solo rap song to achieve this record, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy. Um, but now, my opinion personally, I think that Agora Hills is definitely um, the best song off her album and the best single that she's put on her, off her album, okay? All the other shit they've been promoting is ass. Pink the Town Red, ass. Attention, ass. Demons is okay, but it's still ass. Um, everything is just ass. But I do think that Agora Hills, it definitely has, you know, the vibe to be a hit, okay? It's definitely giving hit. It's definitely giving me, you know, Liddy. But her album is kind of flopping, though. I don't know why. I really would think that, like, her album really be doing successful, especially since her tour is, like, damn near sold out at every venue. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. We gonna see. We gonna see. Let's move on to this next topic. All right, y'all, moving on. Offset is now accused of assault allegations by a security guard, okay? Um, a man named Davion Clark has sued Offset and rapper YRN Merck for assault battery, all right, um, and emotional distress and negligence, okay? Ooh. So it seems like Offset is out here being a criminal, just like his wife, okay? It looks like his wife and him have something in common, okay? Committing crimes, all right? Now, my opinion personally, I feel so bad for the security officer. Um, let's go ahead and make this person, you know, locked up, okay? I think he should be locked up. Okay, um, I just want to understand why are, are Cardi and Offset, all right, always in some legal trouble. You know, it's always something going on with them, okay? Um, I think he's taking his anger out on the fact that his album flopped on the security guard because I don't understand what's going on, okay? I don't understand what's going on. Um, justice needs to be served, okay? And, you know, we have to be fair. Lock this man up, okay? He... You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It is It is what it is, okay? Now, I don't know. Maybe it could be a misunderstanding. Maybe, you know, some stuff is going on behind the scenes. That's, you know, investigation. We don't know. Okay, we're going to see. We're going to see. Moving on, y'all, okay? It seems like there is no official new lead single, okay? As you all know, Nicki Minaj's album is coming out, and people were expecting her to release a new lead single for the album because everyone was wondering... You know, where is the next single? Where is the lead single at? Like, what is really going on, okay? But um, Nicki Minaj just came out and she has said that Super Freaky Girl, yeah, that's the lead single, okay? That is the single that we're going to be pushing. And I'm sorry, not pushing. The single that is looked up to be lead. Now, in my opinion, personally, um, I would have liked a new single for lead. You know, I feel like Super Freaky Girl, It to me, personally, it feels so disconnected from now. I feel like it's so, like, last year. It's so, like, in the... I wouldn't say in the past, but, like, it doesn't really feel like it's a part of the Pink Friday 2 era. Um, Super Freaky Girl was, you know, two summers ago now. You know what I'm saying? So, I would have liked a new single. I'm not gonna lie. I would like liked a new single. It would have been, you know, something fresh, something fun. Um, but I get it. It was number one. It went viral. So, it's, you know, it's easy to just say, okay, this is a single, lead single, you know, because it's the most successful one at the time. So I get it. You know, it's a smart move, really smart move. But I do think that, you know, a new, fresh single that really can give us the vibe of Pink Friday 2 would eat. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure Pink Friday 2 is not going to sound like Super Freaky Girl at all. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that Super Freaky Girl is not the vibe of the album, okay? But hey, it is what it is. We're going to be tuning into the album, okay? Um, December 8th, okay? Um, let me know your opinion down below. And we can just talk about it. We can talk about it down below. Like, let's talk. Let's really talk. Let's get into it, okay? Let's move on to this next topic. All right, y'all. It seems like Cardi B, she is in the studio, all right? She, you know, posted a clip, a little boomerang of her in the studio, and people are talking. People are definitely talking. Um, Personally, I feel like she's posting this clip, okay, because she is trying to let everybody know that my last song flopped. All right. And now I'm in the studio making some new shit. OK, Bozo's flop so bad. OK, and the people in the comments like, oh, no, it didn't flop. It did good. It did good. It did good. Um, It did good according to who? According to you? According to Billboard? That shit went fucking wood. That shit ain't do nothing. OK, Um, I think that personally, Bozo's could have just been left in the closet like your man. Oh, but for real, though, um, she's in the studio now because she realized her last song flopped and she has to hurry up and scramble and make a new hit. Um, and nothing wrong with that, you know, because she's she's pushing through. She's, you know, learning from her her mistakes. She's learning that, hey, this was not a good sound. Let me go back and make something fresh. I respect it. I do respect it, okay? It's better than her sitting around not doing nothing, okay? 
But I definitely feel like the label and Cardi, they probably thought that Bozos was going to be a way bigger song than what it was. Like, you can just tell the way they were promoting it, the way they had all the covers, all the CDs, all the promotion, the music video. Like, you can just tell they thought it was going to be a WAP point 2.0. But it didn't even live up to that. You know, it didn't even do that. It literally was not even, like, close to it. It just didn't even have no cultural impact at all. It just was a lot going on. So, it is what it is, y'all, okay? Let's talk about it down below in the comment section. And, uh, yeah, I would love to hear your opinions. Let's move on into this next topic, okay? Uh-oh, Beyonce is going back on tour. Allegedly, it seems like Beyonce is going back on tour. Beehive in Brazil, stand the fuck up. Um, it seems like Issa Rae had accidentally leaked some official information regarding the Renaissance World Tour. She said to a um, person who was watching and who called in during one of her interviews, and um, she said Beyonce is coming to Brazil. All right, the Renaissance World Tour. Now, me personally, I feel like Beyonce is definitely. I feel like I, I wouldn't be surprised if she if she does. Okay, because you know Beyonce, she wants that money. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. She loves bringing in that cash. She loves bringing in that money. She loves little cash grabs here or there. So if she goes on another another tour and she has um the option to make another thirty million dollars, oh, she definitely gonna take advantage of that for sure. And um, it's nothing wrong with that. Get your bag, get your coin, go off. I see you. But sometimes it do be giving money hungry. But then again, y'all, the fans will love it. The fans will love it if she comes back on a Renaissance World Tour in Brazil. The fans will eat it up. But is Issa Rae playing or is she, is she trolling? Like, what's going on? I don't know what's going on with her. Um, maybe Beyonce told her some information that's not supposed to be out. I don't know what's going on. Maybe she saw a fake post. We, child, Brazil, if this is fake, I'm sorry. Moving on, y'all. JT, all right? She is showing love for the LGBT community, and I support it, okay? She said that um, she was speaking on her support for the trans community in her song No Bars with Billboard. She says, I feel like transgenders are so pretty. I know a few personally, and I call them all the time and ask them for little tricks and trades. So, you know, they're the girls. The reason why I support this so much is because there's been a lot of, like, you know, trans violence going on. You know, they've been coming up missing, coming up killed. And, you know, for her to be showing love to that community, it's just amazing. And the positivity towards, you know, trans people is just beautiful. It's amazing to see. And I do think that, you know, we got to start treating people nicer these days. You know, we got to start treating people with kindness these days. We got to start really just being more respectful these days. And that's just that, okay? Props to JT. Props to JT. Um, but we need your next single, though. We need your next single, okay? JT, what's the hold up? Why are we still hooked up on no bars, all right? Why, why, are, we still talk, why are we still talking about this damn song, okay? We need a, a new single outside of City Girls. Outside, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to see. We're going to see. JT just scared, y'all. She just scared as fuck. She a little scaredy cat, and it's okay. I be scared sometimes, too. But then I just suck it up. Nope. I mean, pause. Uh, all right, y'all. That's all I have for you in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tap that bell so you get an alert every time the video is posted. And I will see you in the next one. Be safe.